है प्रैक्टिस एंड रिविजन आर द बेस्ट टूल टू क्रैक एग्जामिनेशन विथ बेटर मार्क्स सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ द सीरीज सॉल्व द बेस्ट क्वेश्चन एंड द मोस्ट टेंटेटिव क्वेश्चन बिफोर एग्जामिनेशन आई वुड से प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन सॉल्व द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन विच इज इन आर प्ले लिस्ट मस्ट बिफोर एग्जामिनेशन सो प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन आई होप यू हैव पॉज द वीडियो एंड आपने क्वेश्चन सॉल्व किया होगा एंड ट्राई किया होगा दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट बेसिक एंड द इजिएस्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ जोमेट्री लेट्स चेक द कॉन्सेप्ट फर्स्ट दैन द सोल्यूशन Now check the concept first. Whenever you have any quadrilateral, be it parallelogram, rectangle, or anything, say this area is A, this area is B, this area is C, this area is the D. According to the midpoint area of a quadrilateral, we can say A plus C. The opposite summation is actually constant. Which one is a B plus D? Which one is actually equal to half of the area of A, B, C, D? So this is a complete concept of midpoint area. Now you want to say, give me the proof. Let's check the proof. Join I with all the vertices. So we are using the basic concept of the median. Median divides triangles into equal parts. Say so this area is the x. Area of the B F I is x. This area must be x because I F is a median for this triangle. So this one is a median midpoint. Assume this one is y. This must be y by the same median property. If this one is z, this area must be z. By the same median property, if this area is W, this area is W again by the same median property. What is the A? A is actually equal to W plus X, and the C is actually equal to Z plus Y. So in the A plus C, we are getting everything X, Z, Y, W. Similarly, for the B plus W, we have X, Y, and W, Z. So it is the proof of whenever we have the meet points of the respective sides and the I is a point inside, then the figure created, which one is actually Four quadrilateral. The summation of these two quadrilateral, that is, white portion, is actually equal to summation of blue portion, which is actually half of the area of quadrilateral ABCD. So we learnt our concept. Now use this in our question. Now use our learning in this figure. The summation of blue parts is twelve plus twenty eight is forty. The summation area of blue part is forty. So can we say the area of quadrilateral ABCD is the twice of this is eighty? This calculation is hardly a five to ten second ka calculation. Say this part length is L, or better say two L because we have to work on the half. This length is actually equal to two B. So the area of this region ABCD is length into breadth is actually equal to four L B. Two L into two B. Can we say this length is L? This length is B. What is the area of this triangle? Since this is a rectangle, at it is given the area of the x is actually equal to half into base into height. That is half into l into b because the total length is two l, so this length should be l. Now we have four l b is equal to eighty, so the l b is equal to twenty. Now put the value of l b here. We have half into twenty is ten is the answer of this question. So I created this question, which was the most basic and the most tentative question for examination, based on the Triangle property, which could come in your examination, and if you want to solve all such question, I would say must follow must before examination playlist. The link of the playlist given in the description and also in the pin post. Check and learn all the concepts and solve all those questions before examination. It is going to help you to achieve a better marks in your coming examination. I would say I am giving my best. You try to give your best, and let's crack the examination. Myself, Amir. God bless you. Happy learning, and bye bye.